Hey, this is Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Well, the film I'm going to talk about right now is called Gold, and it stars Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, he's back in another film, and this one, he's playing a third-generation gold miner. Now, this film is directed by Stephen Gakin, and you know, Gakin is an Academy Award winner, uh, director, also he's a writer too. But he seems to take uh, a little leave from Martin Scorsese's The Wolf of Wall Street because this film also is based on some real life events. Now, I never heard of them. And I tried to research it and try to find it out, but I didn't find anything really. I really didn't. But this is about finding gold in Indonesia. Well, let's get to the story. What is about Kenny Wells, like I said, is a third generation gold miner in Nevada, Reno, Nevada. You know, his grandfather, you know, he went to Nevada with a mule and a couple of donkeys. And his father, played by Craig T. Nelson, you know, he had an office where people didn't even dig gold. They just sit in the office making phone calls and things like that, getting money from people. Unfortunately, Craig T. Nelson didn't last that long in the picture because I wanted to see more of him and maybe more of his story. But we got to get to Kenny Wells. His father dies. And the film jumps from 1981 to 1988. And you see that Kenny Wells is really having a hard time doing anything. First of all, his office now is in a bar and has a few of his friends making phone calls, you know, from the tables in the bar. And he has a girlfriend. Her name is Kay, which is played by Bryce Dallas Howard. Man, she looks pretty good in this film. She got a nice body, too. Well, she waits tables and things like that. He's in love with her. But, you know, eventually uh, he winds up getting broker and broker. Also, Kitty Wells, yeah, you know, he drinks, he smokes. And I really didn't like this person. But I'm going to get back to that later. But Kenny has this dream of finding gold. So he meets this guy named Micah Koska, which is, is played by Edgar Ramirez. And they go to Indonesia and they dig for gold. Of course, Kenny, he gets sick and things like that. But they do find gold there in Indonesia. And that's where the story really sets off the what? What is this about? But anyway, like I said, Kenny is not a likable character. But that's why I like the acting by Matthew McConaughey in this film. He did not act so you can love this person. Uh, Kenny, you know, he really didn't have any loves of his life, didn't have a family, didn't have kids. Uh, he really didn't have any real friends unless they was make, he was making money for them. And also, you know, everybody thought he was a clown because he was always drunk, he was always drinking. And I always thought he was stupid. And that's how Matthew McConaughey played him, and that's how you would feel about Kenny. That's why I like the acting, that's why I like the character in this film. Because I didn't care nothing about him at all. But the way Matthew McConaughey played him, man, I, I got to get that top notch. Also, and you can see Matthew McConaughey gain weight and stuff like that for this film, too. He's really out of shape, a little bit like me. Ha <laughs> ha. But anyway, now Edgar Ramirez, uh, you know, he plays Michael Costa. Now, he's the cool one. He's the smart one in the film. And but. Again, you don't know a lot about him, so you never really got a chance to like him either. And, you know, Dallas, she played uh, like a round the way girl, you know, a normal waitress person, nothing exceptional about her. And, you know, and she kicked Kenny out on the curb because she realized who Kenny was at the point. Now, I will say this. This film is entertaining and it's not boring. It had a few little problems with the script, but overall, it's just an average movie. It really is for me. I'm only gonna get this two palm trees out of four for gold. Like I said, it was entertaining. I enjoyed the acting and stuff, but the story, now nah, this is, it got me a little bit mixed up. And then the end, I, I couldn't understand the ending. Then when I saw the ending, I have more conversation in my head about the movie, but still just average for me. Two palm trees out of four, out of four. So go see gold for yourself and you determine if you liked it or not, or you understood it. 
or is it an understandable movie? Well, I hope you understand me, Al McGee, your film critic at www.yeticket.com. And thanks for watching. This is your ransom, same ticket, latest and greatest.